The ProDisc L Total Disc Replacement from Synthes Spine is designed to reduce pain, preserve motion, and improve patient function in patients with degenerative disc disease at one level between L3 and S1. The ProDisc L implant is based on a ball and socket design. ProDisc L end plates have patented central keels and lateral spikes for initial fixation to the vertebral bodies and a plasma sprayed titanium coating on all bone contacting surfaces to promote bony integration. The ProDisc L end plates are inserted in a collapsed position and then distracted for the polyethylene inlay insertion. This modular technique facilitates end plate insertion and provides controlled distraction for polyethylene inlay assembly. Identify and mark midline on the superior and inferior vertebral bodies adjacent to the operative level. Create an annulotomy centered on midline wide enough to accommodate the ProDisc L implant. Perform a thorough discectomy using the bone elevator and standard rongeurs, kerosens, and curettes, ensuring the posterior lateral corners are free of disc material. Insert the vertebral body spreaders to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies to gradually remobilize the motion segment. The posterior longitudinal ligament should be completely exposed and released or resected as required to achieve remobilization. Trial implants are used to determine the appropriate implant footprint, lordotic angle, and disc height. Advance the trial to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. The adjustable stop can be backed out to allow the trial to be positioned more posteriorly. Advance the chisel into the vertebral bodies until it is fully seated on the trial. The chisel and trial are left in place until the ProDiscal implant is ready for insertion. Load the inferior end plate and superior end plate onto the inserter and nest the two end plates together. Remove the chisel and trial. Align the keels of the ProDiscal implant with the chisel cuts and insert the end plates to the posterior margin of the vertebral bodies. Load the polyethylene inlay into the grooves in the inferior arms of the inserter. Assemble the distractor to the inserter. Use the thumb screw to fully advance the distractor. Verify that the posterior edges of the end plates have separated from each other. Insert the inlay pusher into the grooves in the inferior arms. Manually push and lock the polyethylene inlay into the inferior end plate. Remove the instruments and verify final implant positioning. 